everyone, this is Jose Trujillo once again, coming to you from my art studio to, uh, with my, well, my little Starbucks right here. To show you one of the paintings I will do today, I'm going to do a painting of Big Ben. So it's, uh, it's a building today, okay? Hope you guys enjoy it. I certainly will. And uh, let's get to it. So what I like to do is that, as you've seen with my work before, what I like to do is, is draw it using, uh, using paint to draw it, okay? I know a lot of people don't like doing that. I don't know why. It mystifies me, but uh, it's good to do it. I guess everybody paints different, I don't know. But I certainly like doing this. I like, I like drawing it first with, um, with the paintbrush. And the reason why is because um, well, you get to see it right away. You know, you get to see what you're doing. It's it's not um. It's not so mysterious. You know, the the reason I'm saying this is because uh, if you don't do it this way, then then what you have, then what you have is uh, is a drawing with a pencil. There you go. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get in the zone as I'm talking. <laughs> so you have a drawing, a drawing with a pencil and that, uh, well that's certainly good too, but, but I think that nothing beats, um, painting it, I think. I don't know, everybody does it different. This is certainly how I do it. Now, I'm going to pull a, a bigger brush. And there we go. And with, with paintings like, uh, like this, I sometimes, most of the time, not sometimes, most of the time, tend to go with, like if you're doing, like if I were doing a photograph, if I were taking a photo, um, I go with the darks first, okay? And this is not, um, it's not set in stone, but um, I do like doing that just because they're kind of markers, you know, they're kind of pointers. They mark where things are going to be, um, just, you know, you're kind of establishing the tone where things are going to be. And I certainly like doing that. So if you see me doing this, this is why, okay? Another thing that I like to do is that I don't, um, Pay too much, too much, too much attention to detail right now. I'm not concerned with detail. As you know, almost never in my paintings I'm concerned with detail, really. Uh, I think the de detail will come out. Uh, 
if you just uh, if you just structure the painting first. What I want to do is this sort of create a, a structure. And this can be done with colors, it doesn't have to be done um, with grays or whatever, you know. Everybody does it different, but um, sometimes I like to go uh, back and forth with grays and, and with color. And the grays that I like to use, also here's another little hint, is uh, I don't just go black and white with my grays. Because I like to keep my paintings as bright as I can, I do uh, a variation of uh, like an impressionist type of gray. And that's very easy to, to create. You just, uh, well I don't want to give you like color theory here guys, but because I'm not, I'm not an instructor. <laughs> But uh, it's very easy to create. All you really have to do is is get uh, either a blue and red and yellow, or a viridian green with red and white, and you create a nice. Um, depending on how you how much of each you put, you get a nice gray, a very nice gray. Again, don't don't if you're watching this for for pa painting, uh, don't get stuck in, in in the detail. Okay, the detail will come out. I promise you. The detail is the last of the of the worries here. The, the what you really want to look for is is uh, really the composition of the painting. Okay, that's really what I'm looking for. And. Uh, and where, the, where we're going to be blocking the colors. It's very simple. Uh, there is no right or wrong way, just because this is the way I do it. If you know, when you paint yours, or you do a, a variation of it or whatever, um, it's going to be the way you do it. So, I'm just telling you, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. At least I don't think so. I don't, I don't like to make it too complicated. Complicated things, just, uh, they're not for me. They're not for me. I feel like a complication, there's so much complication in life already that, that um, it makes, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not for me. <laughs> I don't know, guys. If, if complication is your thing, you know, God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> if you like things to be complicated, uh, you have some, uh, you have some good stuff you want to, you know, start working on. <laughs> unless, unless you're a mathematician and you're like, I like complicated numbers. Uh, that's you know, scientist or something. I don't know. And, then I'll leave you alone. <laughs> but my God, what a complicated life.
especially when you do impressionistic, um, uh, immediate uh, realism, or you know, people call it different things. I guess if you come up with a cool name, it's a it's a cooler thing. I don't know. Not to discredit it, you know, everybody everybody um, has a different approach, but not to discredit it at all because there are so many artists doing some really, you know, really, really great stuff, like me, for example. <laughs> I was telling my wife today that, that when I first started painting, um, I sort of did everything like a like a wash, you know, sort of like a. But I didn't know that that's you know that that that's the that came natural to me to paint that way. It was a very natural thing. I remember the first thing that I ever did was in paint was a a tiger portrait, a tiger, you know, the head of a tiger, and it talks about my ferocity. <laughs> and it was an acrylic painting. It was the very first thing I did. And I remember my, my art teacher, you know, from junior high, uh, looking at it and saying, you know, I think, I think you're an impressionist. I had no idea what that meant. And he's like, I think you're a natural. But, I mean, I'm not saying this to show off or anything. But, you know, the omen said that I was going to. New precious, uh, not the open, the but yeah, I guess I don't know, like a soothsayer type of deal, you know. I was supposed to be an impressionist, and this is why I paint this way now. Um, <laughs> but it is the way that I felt was most natural to me to paint, and and I think that that. Um, you know, that type of painting sort of marked, for me, marked the way that I was going to paint. I ran away from it, and it wasn't until recently that I started doing it again, but I, I actually, I actually ran away from that way of painting. God knows why, I don't know. I think I was trying to, you know, find my, find my voice, find my, my style, try and do my thing. But looking back now, I'm like, man, this is this is exactly how I view, you know, painting. This is what painting. Um, it came most natural to me to paint this way, sort of in a in a, in a quote unquote feathered type of way, I guess you could say. Um, it's loose brush work, and it felt good. It felt like, okay, this is, you know, and, I mean, I, I feel like this is one of the reasons why I've always contemplated uh, if I should paint with acrylic, you know, yeah, I, I've gone back and forth, should I paint with acrylic, should I try acrylic again, but, um, I don't know, I, I already do it so much with, with the, with the oil, I already have sort of my uh, my spin with the oil. That uh, I think it would be unnecessary at this point to go and harness the power of acrylics. But who knows? But either way, this is this is the reason why I do this. It, it always came natural to me to paint this way. It was never, it was never a question until I start questioning it. <laughs> if I make any sense, it was never a question. It was never a, a should I do this or not? No, it was. It was really never a question. It was. It was always very okay. It was always very natural. Like okay, this is this is how I paint, right? But I started at some point. I started questioning it. And, Well, 
that's what happens when you question stuff, you know. You have to go and and learn other stuff and get in the belly of the whale and hope that you come back out stronger. I don't know. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoy this session a lot. I love doing stuff that, uh, that I haven't done in a while. I know you guys are used to me doing the, the, the landscapes or the steelers. But uh, every now and then, as you can see here, I will be changing it up. Thank you so much. Let me um, sign my awesome name here. And uh, till next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.